TF2's achievements have grabbed the attention of many TF2 players over the years, including you right now when you chose to click on this video. You accrue some naturally just through playing, some are just funny, and some are so hard that specific maps have been engineered to be able to get them. Some are so hard that YouTube challenge videos can be made which points towards the entertainment value some find in seeking out completing the achievements. And some are so hard that third party clients have been made to instantly give you all of the in-game achievements as a quick and probably dangerous way to get all of the achievement items such as the director's vision torn or the frontline field recorder hat. So it's safe to say that the achievements have been heavily scrutinized and a considerable amount of players know them in and out. So how can there be hidden meanings after 16 years of Team Fortress 2? Well that is exactly what plays into it. Achievements across all games are often witty jokes in themselves, making references to other media or have double entendres or puns. And as TF2's achievements were made over a decade and a half ago, a lot of these references are likely completely invisible to new players and honestly some of the references seem pretty niche and I doubt a majority of people would notice them regardless of age. On top of that, some have quite specialized terminology and players might just see those words associated with the achievement as opposed to their actual meanings. They're hiding in plain sight. Now before you claim clickbait, let me challenge that. Let's go over some of the best and most interesting meanings and references. Roughly keep count of how many you knew already and how many were hidden to you. At the end of the video, I'll drop a poll, and if more than half of you already know more than half of the meanings and references, not only will I give away an unusual to someone who leaves a comment, but I'll change this video title to something else and take the L. But if you don't already know half, you have to subscribe and like and become an RSTV consumer. Deal? Okay, let's go. Number one, Grey Matter. Get 25 headshots as Sniper. Grey matter is a major component of the central nervous system. The highest concentration of grey matter is found in the brain, i.e. the place that gets shot for a headshot. Number two, Rift Walker. Kill an enemy within five seconds of you traveling through an engineer's teleporter. In science fiction, teleportation devices are often stated to use technology which creates a rift in space, allowing a person to travel through it and out the other end while virtually no time passes in between. Hence the name, Riftwalker. Okay, those weren't too bad, but number three is the Great Deflate. Kill 79 enemies who have had the Ballooner pets. The Great Debate was a debate between two influential astronomers which took place in 1920, not 1979, and concerned the nature of a spiral nebulae and the size of the universe. Shapely believed that these nebulae Nebulae? What the fuck are they called? Nebulae. Shapely believed that these nebulae were relatively small and laid within the outskirts of the Milky Way galaxy, then thought to be the entire universe, while Curtis held that they were in fact independent galaxies, implying they were exceedingly large and distant. After the debate, Curtis was proven to be correct. Number 4. Escaped Ferocity Kill an enemy who has damaged the Australian carrier in the last 3 seconds. Escape Velocity is the speed needed to break free from a gravitational field without further propulsion. And Ferocity is just the state of being ferocious, so the achievement is stopping that ferociousness. Number 5. The Capogee. Win a round with at least 5 teammates on the elevator. The Apogee is the point where a satellite is the furthest away from Earth, for example the Moon's Apogee is 405,000 kilometers away from Earth. And obviously Cap is referring to capturing the Australian. Number 6. Real Steel. Win a round in which the enemy team has attempted to capture your final control point on Foundry. This could be a reference to the film Real Steel. There's also an MVM achievement with the exact same name. I, I don't know why they did this twice. They must really like Hugh Jackman. Number 7. Terminated 2. Kill a player by pushing them into the cauldron of fire. This is a reference to Terminator 2's final scene. Number 8. Claim Jumper. Capture a control point within 12 seconds of exiting a teleporter. A claim jumper is someone who illegally occupies or profits from a property to which another has legal claim, insinuating that you're profiting by capturing someone else's control point. Number 9. Plan 9 to Outer Space. Plan 9 from Outer Space is a 1959 sci-fi film notorious for its poor quality. I'll leave a link in the description to the full movie as well as the worst moments if you're curious. Number 10, The Crucible. Win 137 rounds. The world snooker champion is held in The Crucible Theatre in Sheffield, England. The winner or runner-up of the competition can play a cumulative total of no more than 137 frames over all 5 rounds. Number 11, Foundry Force 5. 
Play a game with five or more players from your friends list. Family Force 5 is a Christian crunk rock band from Georgia, USA. The energy in this music video is actually, I can't even describe it, it's ineffable, so please go check out the description if you want to see. Number 12, I'll give you an easier one now just to gamble. Two minute warning, be a part of a team that wins within two minutes. In the NFL, a two minute warning is given in each half. Did you, did you get that one? Or what about this one? Ballsy. Number 13. Destroy the tank during the final seconds of a bomb being deployed in Man vs. Machine. Wally is a famous 2008 Disney romance animation about two robots, and a ballsy person is just someone who's tough and courageous. Number 14. Okay, a more, a more complex one now. Chipping in. As a team, hit 10 guys in a single wave in Manhattan. Chipping in means throwing in or contributing to a team effort. Chipping in also means knocking something into a hole. Additionally, the pit in this map is Captain Dan's wood chipper. Just some free lore about Captain Dan, he's a local soup manufacturer in Team Fortress 2. After a massive soup recall, he generously volunteered in disposing of the bad soup product, which led him to be awarded the key to the city and a license to kill by the, pre by the president. His soup is referenced in the soldier item, the Captain's Cocktails, um, which is also a part of this whole item set. Number 15. The Android's Dream, as Scout used the Sandman to mark 15 robots for death in a single wave. This is a direct reference to the Philip K. Dick novel Do Androids Dream of Electrical Sheep, which is about a bounty hunter who is charged with retiring escaped androids, so artificial intelligence in a physical form, and this was adapted into the film Blade Runner. Number 16, Steel Fragnolias, complete all waves successfully in an MVM mission. Steel Magnolias is a 1989 comedy film about a group of women described as magnolias but tough as steel and then mag is replaced with frag to mean kill. Number 17, turbocharger. But four or more teammates as soldier at the same time in a single wave. A turbocharger is something that delivers compressed air into an engine for more power to be produced. Number 18, optical diffusion. Kill the monoculus Halloween boss. Optical diffusion is how light is scattered in video game engines, such as the source Fong shader. The misspelling of diffusion by using one less F infers that in defeating the optical organ, the big flying eye, you are diffusing an explosive situation. So there's pretty much two hidden meanings at once in that one. Number 19, log jamming. Kill 15 enemies in the rafters above the central capture point. In The Big Lebowski by the Coen brothers, log jamming is the name of a pornographic movie in which Bunny Lebowski starred. Wrap it up. That's it. How many did you get? Did you win? Well, it doesn't matter because I'm still going to be giving away the unusual, so just comment what your favorite achievement is and I'll pick a winner in the next video. Just hold your end of the deal and subscribe. Okay, thank you. I hope you, had to, I hope you found that interesting. I'll see you next video and have a great day.